Hello guys, today on my table we have a new SKR board for 3D printer. It is SKR Mini V3 uh, with 32 bit processor and ESMC is 2209. This board just arrived, I haven't even opened it, I just read it on the side. <coughs> I'm actually very excited for this board. I have a second version, and um, that's how it looks like. Board. Let's see. This board has um, been working fine for uh, my Ender 3. That's what we have uh, in the box. Rubber duck. Yes, this duck is for debugging the problems if you experience them. Just a cable and USB card and the board itself. Uh, the board, I haven't opened it. I use second version in my Ender 3 and uh, that's what we have. I really like that uh, single heatsink. Pull the headsink out and see what is it actually sits with. Very interesting, <clears throat> at least for me. Is it? Are they using thermal pads or just the thermal paste? Let's pull it out. Yeah, they looks like they use a thermal paste. That's the way board looks with our heatsink. We have dual. Z motors, it's actually over here. Yeah, dual Z extruder. Rest of the stuff. The screen connector, uh, BL touch if you want to use it. It has UART. Um, I actually want to see if it's uh, if it is a TSMC or not. <coughs> Let's pull the Let's take off the just to make sure. Let me turn on my microscope. The drivers, 2209 LA, amazing. Here is the board looks like. For people who really want to see. So you can see here, it is an uh, SKR Mini E3 V3. Has regular, regular things. So the next video probably will be how I will run my Ender 3 uh, V2 on it. Currently I have three printers. This guy right here I run on regular SKR V2. Works perfect with um, clipper. This guy right here is full stock with 4.2.2 um, board. And this guy running 4.2.3 board, and that's what I want to replace. I'm using Warren Tool Head over here. I'm waiting for rails, and the belts are already here. So, very soon, this guy will be hanging linear rails, will be flying gain tree. Very excited about it. I think I will just replace the thermal paste with, um, with this guy right here. I really like that thermal paste. This one actually looks super dry. Like it, it looks like a glue they usually use between head heat sinks. It's very thin, so I think this guy will do the work perfectly fine. If not, I have extra things, extra parts like a thermal pad here are the here are the connectors 
if you want to use switchless <coughs> homing you just put uh, them on, on the motors now oh, that's that's pretty much it the duck faint and, uh, and the box here you go